Hello, I am Group Peebo, and in this video I'm going to explain instrument racks. To start, let's add our BBC Symphony Orchestra. It's a free plugin, I'm going to leave the link to download on the description. To use instrument racks, you can add through this device or by choosing the instrument in the track, Ctrl G, you will group the instruments. If you click here, you will see the list of the instruments. For this example, I'm going to join violins and cellos. For better organization, let's rename it. Violins. I will duplicate it. I duplicate it, but you can add it by bringing it inside this box. You will add another instrument. Duplicating has the advantage of keeping the parameters. Now I need to select cello edit the plugin and select Chelly here. Now we have both instruments. But I want violins from here to here and cellos from here to here. So I'm going to set this in the keys. I will press the C. That way I will see where is the C and set those to the limits. Now we have cellos and violins. If you want to keep consistency between the sounds, you can change the reverb by just turning one button. Open macros, open the plugin parameters, select reverb, right click, map to macro one, now it renamed macro. Now we do the same thing to the violins. You can see both parameters are changing. If you open the plugin, you will see changing there. Now let's add some spicat for high velocity keys. I will duplicate both. So it keeps this assignment. Here we'll change the name. Now let's change the sound. It's playing all together. But I want only spiccato when I hit harder. Now let's set the velocity for up to 100 violins. From 101 beyond, we will have spiccato. The same for cellos. Not a good example of performance, but you see it works. Now we have one more configuration to make. If you want to set the volumes for violins and cellos independently, you can map this volume to macro 2. It will change in the name to chain volume. For organization, let's rename it violins. And set this one also to violins. And the same for the Thank you for watching, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section.